G'day guys and gal. We all know space marines live for quite a long time. The term functionally immortal is one you've probably heard quite a few times whilst on the topic. While that is technically true, like no space marine has ever just lived to the ripe old age and then peacefully passed away, surrounded by their loved ones, that doesn't make them invulnerable. Space marines die. A lot. Hence, despite being able to live into their thousands, it's incredibly rare to find a space marine that is even close to the big 1k. A space marine that old will have fought in hundreds of obscene battles against increasingly powerful foes. There's only so many times you can roll the dice before Jorge, the 700 year old rainbow warrior terminator, gets torn from balls to brain by a carnifex, you know? But despite the odds, there are some space marines that are old as hell, well into their thousands and beyond, getting to that age due to skill, tenacity, and a fair bit of luck, or unluck depending on if your name is Dante or not. Man just wants to fucking die. Today we'll be looking at the top 5 oldest space marines in the setting of 40k. There are a few rules here. Space marines that have been put into some form of stasis for thousands of years don't count, and I'll have to do some mental gymnastics when I discuss traitor marines who have lived in the Eye of Terror, as the Eye and the Warp have a bit of a um, different system for how time works. I'll also be including dead space marines, just because I want to make my job as hard as I physically can. Let's get into it. And number 5 spot is a bit of a mixed bag. All the Chaos Marines from the start of the Great Crusade who are still around. Abaddon, Araman, Fabius Bile, Khan, and so on. Now before you get your foreskins in a twist and say, but they're over 10,000 years old, how are they last on this list? Let me explain. These dudes have spent the majority of their time within the Eye of Terror. The Eye is an extension of the warp, hence a lot of fucky things happen there. One such thing is how time flows. Time in the Eye of Terror generally goes a lot faster than real space. 1000 years on the Imperial calendar could be 100 years or even 10 years in the Eye. As such, we have no idea how old each of these characters are. They could be a couple thousand years old or they could be under a thousand. As such, I'm putting them all at number 5 as although they're old, we will never know exactly how old they are. Plus they all still look pretty fresh. And who said chaos wasn't good for your skin? Our number 4 spot goes to the Templar King himself, Sigismund. Everyone knows this mad lad by now, and if, and if you don't, then well, the uh, fuck you, watch my video about him. But basically, he was the greatest space marine warrior to ever live. During his peak, which was the Siege of Terror, he was basically told to find every Chaos Champion he could and kill them. Let's just say Siggy took this quite literally, as he then tore an absolute path through Chaos, killing many of their champions, including the legendary Khan the Betrayer himself. Khan was later revived, but it still counts. At this point, Siggy was about 300 to 400 years old, still quite fresh for a space marine. When the Horus Heresy ended in the mother of all Pyrrhic victories for the Imperium, Siggy was still horny for violence. He continued massacring Chaos Champions like they were nothing more than a cum stain on a horse skirt for the next 600 years. Then Abaddon returned, and the two warriors once again dueled. Now this duel was kind of bullshit in my opinion. Abby was still in his prime due to him drinking the Chaos Kool-Aid, as well as time going slower in real space, while Siggy had noticeably slowed down at the ripe old age of 1100. Despite this, Siggy actually landed a killing blow on Abaddon that didn't kill him for some reason. I mean, I know the reason, it's fucking plot armor, but holy shit, not even a space marine should be able to survive a gigantic two-handed sword through the chest. Siggy then gets cut in half and passes away peacefully, doing what he loved at over a thousand years old. Rest in pieces, my dude. Number three goes to Dante, which I know probably blows the skirt of some of you cool cats and kittens. What do you mean number three? Isn't Dante the oldest space marine in the setting? And yeah, Currently, Dante is the oldest loyalist space marine who isn't in a dreadnought, but this list includes dreadnoughts and it includes dead marines, so sorry Dante. At nearly 1,500 years old, Dante has seen some shit. He has fought in countless battles, many of which have recently been against the Tyranids, who are notoriously shit to fight against. These centuries of service have taken their toll on Dante, who never removes his golden mask in front of others, as it would show them how run down and sick of living the Blood Angels chapter master is. Despite his age, he's still close to his prime strength and speed, as evident by his ability to 1v1 the Swarm Lord. Blood Angel Space Marines are like double immortal due to their vampirism, so out of all the Space Marines to be this old, it suits Dante the most. As I mentioned earlier, Dante just wants to fucking die. However, due to a prophecy which states that one day he will save the Emperor, Dante has been holding on. 
Also getting visions from Sanguinius and hanging out with the Sanguinor helps his mental health quite a bit. It really ties back into the fact that despite a space marine's body being immortal, their mind and spirit definitely begin to age and slow down, or you know, straight up start fantasizing about suicide. Our number two spot is a man that you probably haven't heard of despite his role as the Black Templar Grand Marshal for over 2000 years, High Marshal Ludoldus. The lore about this long lived legend is scarce, because he featured well before the current setting and well after all the interesting shit that happened in the past, but that doesn't mean he wasn't a badass. Black Templars love war. All the studies love war, but Black Templars love war. So the fact that a Black Templar High Marshal can love war for over 2000 years is obscene. We know he was over 2000 years old before he died because he featured in both the Vinculius Crusade as well as the Gerulius Crusade, two crusades that were 2000 years apart. He was High Marshal in both crusades. That rank takes quite a while to get, so his age upon death was probably closer to 2500 or even more. Motherfucker was just too angry to die. In battle, he wore modified Terminator armor and he carried around a holy blessed lantern that could cut its way through the warp and guide the Templars to victory. Bit of a Red Baron kind of vibe, cause that's like one hell of a way to put a target on your back. Look at me Chaos, I have a lantern, what do you have? That's right, a father that doesn't love you. I imagine that's exactly what Ludolus would regularly say to the forces of hell, especially the Iron Warriors. Speaking of Iron Warriors, we have an honorable mention before we get to our number one spot. During the Great Crusade, the Iron Warriors fought against a Xeno called the Herd, but I like to call them the Hudu cause I'm an immature little fuckstain. The Hudu were especially deadly because they had the ability to age shit very rapidly. The more Hudu there were, the more powerful this effect was. For standard guardsmen this was super shit, as they would be aged to dust within seconds, but for space marines it was also quite bad. Marines were being aged thousands of years in mere moments, many of them turning to dust as their armor rusted and decayed around them. Then the Hudu would strike, killing the few remaining old men, was a bit of a problem. One squad of Iron Warriors actually survived though, well some of them did, and they got fucking old. One of their hearts stopped beating and another one was literally quoted as saying that he died of old age. Another two were ravaged and required life support systems in the form of a dreadnought, whilst Dantioch was the only one that walked away from it intact. When he was later analyzed, it was revealed that his body was over 3000 years old. Dantioch was still very functional at this age though. During the Horus Heresy, he would side with the Loyalists, being one of the few Iron Warriors to do so. He would then go on to save Gilliman and the Lion's life. After that, he would immortalize himself as a hero by giving his life to protect the Pharos device. So at 3000 years old, a space ring can still kick some serious ass. It is unknown how old his comrades who died got to, but with Dante feeling old at 1500, Sigismund slowing down at 1000, and Dantioch feeling pretty fucking rough at 3000, it could be argued that a space ring will kick the bucket around 4000 to 5000 years old. It is important to note though that the Hudu's premature aging powers are designed to kill or maim you not just to make you older, hence a naturally aging space marine might still be functionally immortal. I do want to mention that whilst the Iron Warriors were dying from the aging, Perturabo charged in, was aged thousands and thousands of years, and he didn't even blink or change. His war gear was so well made that although it was dulled, it still functioned perfectly, hence Perti was able to basically solo massacre the Hudur army. Badass. But yeah, I wanted to shout out Dantioch for his 3000 year old body. Now to our number one spot, the oldest space marine in the galaxy, Bjorn the Fell Handed. Whilst Bjorn is over 10,000 years old due to his dreadnought status, he has been asleep for a lot of that. However, that doesn't mean he isn't old as fuck regardless. Bjorn was fighting side by side with his Primarch, Mr. Russ, and the Emperor from pretty much day one. So around 798.m30. He would clap tits during the Great Crusade, and he would continue to clap tits on the Horus Heresy. With the Horus Heresy ending in 014.m31, so around 220 years. When Lehman had a weird little moment and decided to go into the Eye of Terror, Bjorn took command of the Space Wolves and continued his impressive streak of cheek clapping all the way until 934.m31, when he found himself absolutely cum blasted during the Battle of the Dread Sun Fortress. Bjorn wasn't done though, after being thrown in a dready, he was ready to kick more ass. At this point, he was about 1140 years old. From here, Bjorn spent another 500 years fighting on the front line and advising the new great wolf of the space wolves, before Bjorn finally needed to start taking some naps. By the mid 32nd millennium, Bjorn had been active for about 1640 years. 
Over the next 10,000 years, Bjorn would be awoken in the Space Force's time of need, whether it be to kick Magnus the Red's ass, sort out the Inquisition, or just have a hectic fucking bender with the boys. Bjorn was there. At the start of every millennium, Bjorn would also be awoken to tell the new Space Wolf recruits about the legends of Lehman Ross and what it was like fighting side by side with the Emperor himself. Wholesome Papa Bjorn times. We don't know how long he would be awake for each time when he was summoned, and we don't know how many times he was summoned overall, but with Bjorn being an integral part of the Space Wolves for over 10,000 years, it's easy to say that he would have a few hundred years of non-stasis activity at minimum. There is very few people alive in the 40k setting who have seen as much shit as Bjorn the Fell handed, and I for one am very excited to see his eventual reunion with Lehman Russ and then most likely his death which will come soon after, but it'll be super wholesome and it'll make Dante super fucking jealous. Whilst I'm sure there are dreadnoughts who are in a similar boat to Bjorn, Big Bjorny was active for over a thousand years before being put into one, hence there's no other dreadnought I can think of that would be suitable for this list. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be. Only $1 per month give you access to a boatload of Battle Mace 40 million hentai. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more old suicidal content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.